what's going on guys it is o dark 30 here at the house i'm about to pull the boat out and get everything ready to go but i want to share with you my game plan real quick because once we get out on the water we're going to get going um so kyle and i are going to be fishing in the back of a creek system today this is going to be a brand new creek system um, it's something that i've been eyeballing on satellite research lately it looks really good it's got a ton of oysters in the back it's in the back of a marsh system but it's very, very narrow and very shallow. So I don't even know if my eight inch draft maker will be back, will be good back there at low tide. But honestly, we're just gonna see what happens. Um, it's about one hour before low tide when we get in here. So uh, if the water drops all the way out completely, then it is what it is. There are some deep pockets back there in, these, in some of these bins. So I'll be able to sit back there and wait for the tide to come back up and float me out. Um, but that's going to be the name of the game. We're going to try to find some redfish in this creek system. Like I said, there's shallow water, but there's tons of oysters, and I know there's got to be tons of bait. I've seen bait pouring out of this thing uh, at the mouth of it on uh, the last couple trips that I've been fishing, so hopefully we can find us some nice big redfish. So that's the plan first thing this morning. Now, if we get back there and we find nothing, then we're going to boogie out of there, and we're going to make our way over to the sound. Um, it's calling for overcast conditions today, um, around the high tide period and that is the perfect time to pull out these top water baits and get to popping these things man i tell you there's nothing better than catching a 20 inch or bigger trout on top water and that is really what i'm shooting for today uh really just any kind of top water action but i would love to see a big girl hit that thing like a shotgun <laughs> that would absolutely make my day so i just want to share this quick game plan with you guys uh, but we're going to go ahead and get rigged up make my way out to the boat ramp and I'll see you guys at the first spot. That's a good one. Yep. <laughs> there we are. Oh, well, we we left redfish country because they were making fun of us. Yep. And now we're over here in trout country, catching trout. We got three quick ones real, real fast. There we go. Beautiful. 15 inch trout, big yellow mouth. So here's what I got. Bar Paradise bomber popping court. Running every bit of a two and a half foot piece of leader. One eighth ounce trout eye. On this root beer chartreuse tail. <laughs> easy shrimp, just keeping it easy. We got flying fish out here, man. <laughs> Love that release. That one in. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave that in. There's another good one. Yeah, grab the net. He's staying, he's keeping us down. Got the boat. Tension's on nice. That's a good one. There's an 18. Right. That's cool. That was actually the very next cast, you guys. Oh, when that happens. Come here, buddy. I know. I know. I know. They're 
We're getting bigger. Yep. <laughs> you, you called it. That's a good one too. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Oh, did he get me in the oysters? He got me in the oysters. He did. He took. Oh no, he's still. Okay, he's back. Yeah. I'm gonna bring him this side. Over here. Whatever you want to do. There he is. That's why he oysters me. All right, I got him. Thank you, brother. They're hitting right on those oysters, guys. So what we have is a river that's got a nice uh, grass line that kind of kicks out over here. And then there's some oysters that are submerged. And every time I drift back into those oysters, that's where they're hitting. They're hitting on the front side, not even the back side. There we go. There's another, another good one. We'll measure her. She's a little close. Pinch tail. Yep. Whee! <laughs> Alright, good to go. 15. Go in there with your other friends that are not doing so good. Alright guys, I hope you're enjoying the video so far, but I wanted to take just a quick second and remind you that LowCountryFishingLLC.com is up and running. Now on that website, you'll find some articles that I've written. You'll find a bunch of super helpful videos. You'll find the shop tab where all my merchandise lives, my hats, my decals, my t-shirts, all the stuff that I'm wearing in these videos is in that shop tab, as well as a link to my Patreon account. So if you find yourself out on the water, you're going through all the motions, you're trying to locate bait current structure nearby depth change, and you're still not able to consistently catch fish the way you would like to, then I would love to invite you over to my Patreon page. Now on my Patreon account, you guys will find there's different level tiers that offer different level rewards. Everything from just a basic simple donation to detailed fishing reports that include the types of areas that I'm fishing, the lures, the baits that I'm using, even satellite telemetry showing you types of spots to fish uh, in your home waters. Also, I have the spot exposed videos. Now, in these videos, it is an absolute shortcut to success. If you find yourself an angler that doesn't have time to put in to hunt around and look for these types of spots, I am giving you my successful spots, spots that catch redfish, finder, and trout consistently, and I break it all down in these videos. I show you the boat ramp to leave from, I show you why the spot's good, I teach you exactly how to fish it, what specific tide, I show you the baits and the lures to fish. I even give you some safety considerations uh, to think about as well. So if you're looking for a shortcut to get out there, catch fish, add another spot to your Rolodex, I don't mind sharing you mine and it's available on Patreon. So again, thanks for the support you guys and we'll get back to the video. You got him. Yeah. Is he on? Yeah, I'm on. I'm, I'm, I'm going underneath you. Okay, I'll leave it oh, in place. Maybe I'm not, I'm not coming underneath you. Oh, somehow I didn't know you. Whatever that is, is got some on it. Got a little shaky head. That's a good shaky head. Sweet. You ain't losing that trout at the boat. Uh uh, no sir. No sir. That's a good anchor right there. Get out of here. Stop slapping your mouth. <laughs> That's the perfect size, man. That that 16 inch size right there. Love it. We got a couple in there. They're not do the others aren't doing so good. I'm gonna have to put some ice on them before we get some serious uh, diseases. There you go. Take a little. LG. That is a very dark trail. Yeah. It's a dark boy. Yeah, right on that grass clump. <laughs> get that to get that little guy off my face. <laughs> got, got my camera dirty. That's a good shot. Man. That's a good shot. Good job. You're doing very good, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle's killing it with a cork. Just transferred all those fish over to some ice so I don't die of some crazy salmonellic disease later if that's even a word let's move over to that grass over there good. unless you think you're gonna pull another no, let's do it. little one out of here i don't want to stop you from your game Um, 
I'm gonna throw some top water and see if they'll wake up with it. If they don't want this thing, then. There it is. Oh, missed it. That was a good one too. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Now oh, he got it. <laughs> Let's see if I can keep him pinned with these troubles. He's gonna jump off. You watch. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Kyle's back here on the business call. I'm slinging fish in his face. <laughs> the big old angry trout. All right, so I switched over to a top water because uh, it's overcast. Now you can throw these top waters really anytime. It doesn't have to be overcast or early morning or late conditions. You can throw them honestly anytime. But. I decided to pull it out and throw it. Now this is the same one that I used in that last little video. It's kind of starting to go to war. She got double hooked. That's a nice size trout there. Big old mama. She's uh, gone to war here with somebody. Somebody took a bite out of her. So same strategy guys, just coming on down the line, fishing around here. I had a blow up here that missed and blow up here. She missed now a good strategy, a good tip for you guys with these top waters. If you have a miss, don't stop just keep moving it that fish will react right back to it and go back to attack and that's what i did i didn't stop retrieving and she went right back and now she's going home i like to move it move it sitting there <laughs> Bro, you putting pro cure on yours? No, are you? Yep. You jackass. <laughs> you can't tell all the secrets to your fishing partner, okay? <laughs> Why do you think? Yeah, that's what makes them come back. They'll hit it, suck in, they'll taste it, and then they'll, they'll be like, oh, wait. Bro, you got to broke here on everything, man. Told you, I put on my hot dog. <laughs> fell from 50 yards out of the sky. Did you get hit? I think you got hit. No. Oh. Oh, okay. There we go. Got him. Stay with it. Oh, lost him. Oh, no. Yeah. It was a trout. Yeah, I got him in the grass. You can work these things right through the grass too, guys. Don't be scared. Yeah, I think he hit it, hooked him, and then uh, the grass gave him just enough to get out. <laughs> There's a cast. Woo. What happened? I don't know what happened. You got it in you. The caffeine kicked in, apparently. <laughs> All this lack of sleep from two kids. I feel your pain. I know. I can trade it for the world, man. Fraternity. Or sleeplessness. I slept in the fire engine bed the night before last, so. Fire engine bed? Yeah, man. My grandpa made a wood. Oh, I got him. <laughs> You're not even looking at it. <laughs> How many times have we hit that same spot? I don't know. I switched to the shrimp pro cure this time. I'm kidding. <laughs> Come here. That's exciting. Yeah. That's the language. These top waters are great search baits, too. Look at that. <laughs> I wonder how many are in here. They're great search baits. They will let you know where the fish are. Got him. That's a big one too. <laughs> you want to grab my net? No. I'm not helping you. <laughs> okay. She might she might be 20, that's why. Yeah, she's healthy. <laughs> Are we recording? Okay, we're recording. Here she comes. That's a huge That is a big trout. 
Wow. Huge trout. Let's clear this out. Golly, look Emmy at that. Emmy her pliers. She's probably 22, 23. I'm gonna ask. You got an iPhone? 22. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need a picture with this girl. Uh, yeah, she's solid. Okay, she's out. Now, she just made a giant mess. That. Yeah, she's big. Oh, she's full of eggs too. Love it. Let's pinch it. 21 inch fish. Yeah. 21. Yeah, she got a big old tummy. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's going to be it for today's episode. What started off to be a nice little uh, backwater exploration trip for redfish turned out to be actually a great trout trip. We were out here just kind of bouncing around hitting some of these major river systems. Out here in the sound honestly is where we're wrapping up today's trip. Throw in some top water, throw in some popping corks, some swim baits, a little bit of everything. Kyle the cork sniper here behind me was absolutely destroying these fish uh, with his popping cork and that trout trick underneath it. Um, I honestly started really enjoying the trip once I pulled out that top water though, to be honest with you. We got some really nice overcast skies that rolled in. The winds died down and I thought, I'm tired of throwing this cork, let's do something different. Pulled out the top water and that was all she wrote. I got a few uh, a nice keeper sized trout and then that big 21 inch trout that you guys saw at the very end. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to hit that big thumbs up. If you haven't got a chance to subscribe yet, go ahead and click that button now. And I will catch you guys on the next episode. Take care, you guys. God bless.